think Maxwell Cornet is bang in trouble at West Ham. I really do. I've thought it for a little bit of time, but there's been a couple of really big opportunities. One of them he didn't get, funny enough. So I thought the game against TSC, back at Topola, is that what I called? was an opportunity, but he didn't start the game. I thought this game, most recently, against Lincoln City in the League Cup, that was a real opportunity. And he was awful. And I didn't see it, so you'd run a line on statistics, which is exactly why I've read them. Uh, so I've read the statistics, by the way. I, on It was a, a website called West Ham Zone, but they had taken the statistics uh, from someone called SofaScore, which sounds... Sounds like an HP agreement, doesn't it, for a three-piece suite? Um, and they read in SofaScore, they're damning really, really bad stats that Cornet had against Lincoln City. And you think, ah, oh, that was your chance. That was his chance to do something. I think David Moyes has lost faith in him. I've gone on about it, and I'm not going to repeat myself on that, but, you know, the whole history of him signing and then going and getting injured and going over to France. There's no point me going through that in any detail. We've covered it in some detail on this channel. But so once you lose the faith of the manager and the trust of the manager, though, chances to redeem yourself are few and far between. And this was one of them. This absolutely was one of them. And he had to do it and he didn't. And for that reason, I think his time is over. I don't think Danny Ings did himself any favours either. We'll get to that in just a second. Let me just a uh, quick pit stop. Let me just read you what it says here. Cornet, it's against Lincoln City. Cornet lost Possession of the ball on eight separate occasions during the game. He failed to register a single pass. No, sorry, he failed to register a single key pass or a single shot. He completed just one of his crosses at a rate of 33%, which I think I think it might be three crosses. Um, I'm no mathematician, but I think, yeah, I, I think he might have attempted three and, and one. He said barely touched the ball with just 29 touches, completed 85% of his passes. Uh, OK, I don't think the last one is too bad. But losing possession on eight occasions is is not good. Not providing a key pass and not having a shot. That's crap. I mean, that's crap. You can be crap at passing and have some shots and threaten the opposition goal. He didn't and he didn't threaten the opposition goal. He's in big trouble. And for those people that think actually, well, Corne, we're gonna sell him. And it said that in this article, you know, we'll look to sell him in January. Good luck with that one. Cornet's going to the African Cup of Nations. West Ham wanted to sell him during the last transfer window, but no one was coming in with anywhere near the money that we wanted. And I think we wanted something close to the £17 million we paid out for him. No, forget it, forget it. When we paid that £17 million, his stock was quite high. Despite Burnley getting relegated under Sean Dyche, he got some goals, he got some assists. Um, so his stock was high. His stock's not high anymore. It, it really isn't. If he costs £17 million, we're taking at least a £10 million loss on that. I would... I'm guessing, but, you know, I think it's hard to argue otherwise, really, isn't it? So if we couldn't sell him in the summer, we're not going to be able to sell him half a season later for very more money. We're going to sell him for a lot less, but no one's going to want to buy him anyway. Who's going to want to buy this player? I'd imagine somebody that's struggling for relegation, struggling for uh, creativity, that's going to want someone that can provide a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of a rescue act, really. But why would you sign a player in January who's going to leave? And I think it's in the, the second week of January, African Cup of Nations start. And the return date for a team that goes all the way is the middle of February. Well, those are some pretty key fixtures with it there, isn't it? It just wouldn't sign him. And you don't know. You, it's not like you can even do a medical. I guess you could fly someone out. They're there to host. Uh, Ivory Coast are hosting the tournament, these countries. So, I mean, you, you could, I'm sure you could fly a medic out there to do the, um, I'm sure his international, his national manager wouldn't mind so much, but there's no guarantee, even if you do the medical, that he's going to get through the tournament unscathed. I just, I, I struggle to see a single reason why any club would buy Maxwell Cornet. It's too big a risk. You'd want to wait until February. Well, you know, well, of course, February, there's no, you can't buy a player in February. So anyone that wants him is going to have to want him long term and it's going to be looking at the summer. And, and I do think it's a bit of a wasted squad place, actually, for us, because as I've said on numerous occasions in the last week, don't get any easier than that. The, the, the easiest little run of fixtures we were ever going to get was in was in TSC, a back of Topola, Lincoln City, and then Sheffield United, who are horrendous uh, this season. 
if you don't play then, he ain't gonna play against Newcastle. He's certainly not gonna be playing the next round of the League Cup, is he? He's not gonna, not gonna play against Arsenal. Got Everton. Is that way? No way. Moyes would chance him. Moyes would be looking at Everton, thinking, "I need those three points," because well, it's no point in saying because because he wants to win the game. And unfortunately for Maxwell Cornet, he is not a player that David Moyes will trust to use to play a game that he needs to win him. Oh, quite the opposite. And you look at it, he's fallen right down the pecking order. You look at it now. Who's our first, cho first choice left winger? I've, 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 actually, you know what? Forget of it as a left winger. Just, who, who's going to David Moyes most likely to pick on the left? Well, at the moment, it's Lucas Pakatar. Second most likely, Sai Ben Rama. Right, fair enough. Third most likely, Pablo Fornells. And that's before we even consider whether Caduce can play there or not. There is an argument that he is fourth or fifth choice on the left wing. He's not going to play him as striker, which is a bit of a shame because that's I thought he looked at his best with Skamaka last season in the um, in the Conference League, but it never happened. He got injured and he was out for a long time. As I say, we're not going to go into that. The interesting thing is he did all right in Europe last season, five assists in Europe for West Ham. However. He featured in 14 Premier League games. Now, listen, let's be fair. You know, most of those are going to be a substitute. But this is what I'm talking about with Lincoln City. You've got to grab your chance while you get it. So he got onto the pitch on 14 occasions in the Premier League last season. Not one goal, not one assist. Says it already. It's just not going to influence and encourage the manager to use him and put him in the team, is it? So, you know, I think it's really hard for him. I really, really do think it's hard for him. And I just it's, I just can't see any way forward. I do wonder if he regrets that decision to go and have his medical stuff done in France. And, and let's be fair, it took five months for a calf injury. So it, it's not like he can look back and say, oh, it was a massive success because I got healed quickly. Well, that didn't happen either. So it, it certainly destroyed, I feel, from the outside looking in, I, I feel it's destroyed the the bond of trust that, that you might have with the manager there. And I just don't think there's anything you can get back. So there you, there you go. And, it, and I just think it's almost like a wasted a wasted opportunity for him. And I think if he's not going to play and he's not going to feature, it's probably a wasted squad place. But that's for David Moyes to uh, decide anyway. I do think that game in the League Cup was important for a number of players. I think they had to grasp their chance. I think Danny Ings, as I mentioned at the start of the video, he had to grasp his chance. Play against TSC, play against Lincoln City. Got to score a goal. And I know, and I listen, I'm sick of giving them mitigation every day that I think he's a good forward and he'd score goals in another system. I'm just going to stop saying it, actually. We know that. It's established that's the case. Um, but that being said, you've still got to score a goal against those teams. You've got, you've got to look like the best power on the pitch. Danny Ings should be the best striker that those Lincoln City players have ever seen. And the same for the backer to polar players. The, the best the best striker, wow, look at this guy, £125,000 a week. He's got goals for Liverpool, knocking him in for fun for Southampton, for Aston Villa, played for, you know, the top level Premier League clubs. He's got an England cap, Danny has got an England cap, not sure. I can't, I think he might have done, might be wrong. But whatever, you know, Premier League striker. He just, you know, just wasn't so, but I don't think it's the same as him with Maxwell Cornet. I don't think that Danny Ings has lost David Moyes' trust, but it was a big game for him. I, I don't feel that there's a whole run of fixtures coming up where Danny Ings is going to get a chance to impress. Just don't think it's going to happen. So, um, yeah, there you go. What can I say? Maxwell Cornet, don't look good. I thought it. I thunk it in my own mind. Then when I've seen those stats, they're pretty damning. I, I find it really hard to imagine, particularly given the African Cup Nations, a sequence of events, and this is the very last game in the European group in West Ham are qualified, but I find it very, very hard to imagine a scenario where Maxwell Cornet starts another game for West Ham. Mm -hmm.